We have some alarming news about everyone's favorite rookies, Zero Base One. It seems like not everything is going smoothly in the world of ZB1. So, let's dive right into it. At the beginning of this month, reports surfaced about troubling working conditions at Wake One, the agency behind ZB1. Many employees left due to unbearable conditions, and the company didn't hire replacements or pay those who left. Current employees are working overtime, weekends, and night shifts, clearly overworked. They were forced to work even after getting COVID-19, which is the possible reason as to why three ZB1 members also got infected with COVID. How does this relate to our beloved ZB1 members? Well, it's a worrisome sign because a company that mistreats its employees is likely to mistreat its idols too. Some ex-employees suggest that the next ZB1 comeback might lack effort, as the company aims to maximize profits from fan spending. Adding to the chaos, both Hanbin and Jiwoong started solo activities. Jiwoong hosts a popular YouTube variety show called Detective Boy Kim Jiwoong, while Hanbin has taken on the role of an MC for M Countdown. Fans couldn't stand by any longer and sent protest tracks to Wake One, demanding better treatment for all ZB1 members and to use the money generated by the group to create more OT9 content. However, things took an unexpected turn when the truck organizer posed as an OT9 to gather donation money, but later changed the narrative, criticizing Jiwoon and Hanbin's solo activities. An official who conducted this truck protest pointed out, CJN's loss has led to the creation of ZB1 through Minette, and the group as well as its fans are being used to pay off debt like child breadwinners. The company is focusing on one person's schedule, neglecting the rest of the group's members and deceiving the fans. Moreover, criticism that Chen and Wake One used group members as well as fans as immoderate money makers by making over 100 photocards within two months of CB1E's debut was also covered during this truck protest. Their complaint also includes the suspicion of the company pushing for the schedule to be given to member Sung Hanbin. But it doesn't end there. A fan recently posted a malicious comment targeting Sung Hanbin on a Nets Plus community, which he saw and responded to, leaving many fans concerned for his well-being. In a shocking revelation, it appears that anti-fans have created a forum specifically to target Hanbin. They also seem to have orchestrated the protest truck campaign and contacted reporters to publish articles, although only one agreed to do so. The connection between the anti-fans and the protest trucks remains unclear. Fans were quick to raise a hashtag in Hanbin's support on Twitter, and are now encouraging Z Roses to mass email Wake One to ask for legal actions. So, there you have it, the latest on the ZB1 crisis. What do you think about everything that is happening? We hope things get better for the members soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates, and thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>